When that emergency alarm went off, never did I think it would be for Tottenham Hotspur fan. No Spurs! Spurs! An alibi, another. Another alibi. You try to find alibi and an excuse for, for, for the players. Okay, continue. Continue to do this. To Newcastle 6, Tottenham 1, and it was wave after wave like Mr. Probs, blood. It was like playing Call of Duty Zombies, fam. 5 nil down in 22 minutes, blood. Stevie Wonder would have done a better job on FIFA 23, fam. This is embarrassing. Newcastle United 6, Tottenham Tottenham 1. Spanish, 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 Spanish. Uh, Harry. Spanish. Excuse, excuse, excuse. Try to protect. Try to protect every time and uh, this situation. Ah, come on, come on, come on. We are professional. We, we, we paid, the club paid us a lot of money. The players receive money. Me receive money. You understand? Not to be, to find excuse and uh, don't have spirit or, or, or don't show the sense of belongings. Or don't show... Oh, sense of responsibility because we are showing this and for me this is unacceptable for me because this is the first time in my career to see a situation like this and until now I wasn't able to change not to change but compare last season the situation went to become worst why, Antonio? Why do you think it is like this? Why? Bah, I don't know, because they are used to here. They are used to here. Don't play for, uh, for, uh, for something important. Yeah. And, uh, they don't play, uh, they don't want to play under pressure. They don't want to play under stress. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's easy in this way. And Tottenham, Tottenham's story is this. 20 years that there is the owner and never won something. But why? Only for the, the fault is only for the club or for the every manager that stay uh, here. And uh, I have seen uh, the manager that Tottenham had on the bench. You risk to disrupt the figure of the manager and to protect the other situation in every moment. And now, and now, uh, until now, I try to hide the situation, but now no, because I repeat, I don't want to see what I have seen today, because this is unacceptable. Also for the respect for the fans. They follow us, pay the tickets, and to see the team another time, to have this type of performance, for me, I repeat, this is unacceptable. And, uh, we have to think a lot. We have to think a lot about about this. Last one, please, guys. Thank you. Well, Antonio, last week you said that you saw the fire in the eyes of your players again. What what has changed between now and this game? And how much is it your responsibility to motivate them? I said that I want to see the fire, not that I have seen. It's different. I say that I want to see the fire into the eyes. I want to see the fire into the heart. I want to see the right spirit, okay? And not only in the training session, into the pitch. Because here you have to make the difference. And I'm not seeing this, and until now, I try to hide the situation, but now, oh, there are 10 games to go, and uh, something, something thinks uh, that we can fight. We can fight for what? With this spirit, with this attitude, with this commitment. For what? For the seventh, hate place, name place. I'm not used to this position. I'm really upset. And everybody has to take the responsibility, not only the club, not only the, 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 the manager, the staff. The player has to be involved in this situation.
is man have no pride like Saudi Arabia fam, like Jamaica, like Dubai. No pride fam, no festivals fam. Daniel Levy wants to come out and say, oh, I don't know anything about football. I just got into it for an annual turnover. We've been annually turned over season after season and I have had enough blood, packed blood. Packed by young Philly, yeah, man. Ha 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 ha. Alexander Isaac, two goals, blood. Can you believe it? Honestly, it's like man changed the game length on FIFA, fam. Man unplugged the control pad. These man are absolute scrub. Not only is Ramadan over, Tottenham season is over, blood. You know them, and they're not linked because we are haram, fam. Absolutely fist up, blood. We got pa Eddie Howe, you know, Harvey from EastEnders blood oh why I'm an FC we got put on a t-shirt it wasn't in a spliff we got put on a t-shirt fam honestly fam these man are killing me softly blood Lauren Hill why Clef it's a Fuji's thing when Digger D made it's whatever he was talking about Tottenham Hotspur football club it's over bye you try to find alibi and an excuse for, for, for the players. Okay, continue, continue to do this, to find excuse for the players. You do only this, you do only this. Excuse for the players. Yeah, but the players, maybe my, my future, and then okay, they, they, lost, they lost confidence, they lost spirit, they lost to, to be a team. Hey. Harry, clearly you're in shock. I don't blame you. Absolutely smashed in a cringeworthy performance and 6 1 defeat by Newcastle. Typical Spursy. How are you feeling? Yeah, obviously. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm just in complete shock. I can't believe what I've just witnessed. Uh, absolute massacre. And um, I was watching the goals as they went in. One, two, three, four, six, seven, seven. Five. Five, yeah, that, that's what I was going to say, yeah, yeah. I, I don't deserve this. I'm England's greatest goal scorer of all time. I don't deserve this. Yeah, obviously. It was an absolutely disgraceful performance. What did Stellini say to you after the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't speak much Italian, uh, but I think it was something like, I am out of my depth. I don't have a clue what to say to you embarrassing clowns. Why am I ruining my reputation? And didn't I just leave with Antonio Conte, my friend? And why is my assistant a five-year-old Ryan Mason? You are pathetic. Enjoy the first nights in Macedonia. And then he ran just straight through the, the dressing room wall. That was the last time I seen him, yeah, obviously. And of course, you might have noticed that the artist formerly known as Sting was in the crowd today. Did you invite him, Harry? Yeah, obviously. Uh, no, that had nothing to do with me. Uh, when Newcastle United scored the sixth goal, I ran over to his steward and said, Please, please, call the police. There's been a murder. Newcastle have killed us. Uh, but unfortunately, he rang the wrong police and Sting turned up. Yeah, obviously. And Harry, do you think that the interim manager Stellini will be sacked after this performance? Yeah, I've just been uh, walking past uh, Daniel Levy's office and Big Sam and Steve Bruce are having a dance-off. Um, I think Bruce has got to win it. He was doing Gangnam Style and nailed it. Absolutely amazing. It was really good. But listen, uh, people can laugh about, you know, Brucey coming in. But at the end of the day, anything is better than the, this Italian moron and a five-year-old kid. Yeah, obviously. Well, Newcastle was sensational. Did you congratulate the Newcastle players after the game? Yeah, I went into the Newcastle United dressing room. I went straight over to Eddie Howe, gave him a big cuddle. I uh, congratulated him. Uh, obviously, uh, 35 minutes later, I still hadn't let go of Eddie. And I said, please, please, Eddie, keep me here. Don't let me go back on the bus with them. Please, I want to be a part of this journey. I don't want to go back to Alcatraz with them. Uh, obviously, security had to come in and remove me, which I understand and totally respect. But listen, anyway, I've got to go now. I think we kick off at 5 p.m. Uh, Newcastle United kicked off at 2 p.m., which is really unfair, actually. That's not odd. And I think the FA need to do an investigation into them. Yeah, obviously. Spazzy. Spazzy. Yeah, obviously. Because it's time to change the situation if Tottenham wants to change. If they want to continue in this way, they can, they can change manager, a lot of manager, but the situation cannot change, believe me. Thank you very much.